Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here and I just wanted to do a brief intro to a new ongoing series I'm going to do. Uh, just looking at basic paracord knots and techniques and um, as I myself learned paracord and, and share with you stuff that I have learned, um, I've been finding there's a bit of a lack of clear tutorials on just the basic, basic stuff. Um, and for every good tutorial there's 10 bad ones, so hopefully um, I can add to that in a positive way. So. Other than this video, which is going to be a little bit longer because of the intro, of course, these are going to be really brief videos. I'm going to make a playlist out of them, and perhaps it's something you can save as a bit of a reference for your own projects. Um, so we're going to start with some really simple knots, um, and you know it'll give you the tools you need to make bracelets, uh, lanyards, fobs, anything you want to do with paracord. So that's the intro. Uh, let's start off with the very first uh, knot that I'm going to show you, and I'm probably usually going to be using this. Uh, camel cord because I think it's a little easier to see where lines cross over etc than using an all black cord which uh, looks nice when it's done but it's a little hard to see so let's start off and I'm going to show you a simple two strand snake knot and I'm going to try and explain these just as clearly as I can but if anyone has any feedback on that please feel free to let me know in the comments and I can try and get these to, to as good a instructional point of view as I can for you guys so uh, with the two strand snake knot what you want to do is both your cords facing towards you like this and you're going to take your left cord and put it over the right hand one and back around behind both cords then you want to take uh, your other cord here and you're going to come up behind the one you just brought around and if you see over here you have this little loop from the first cord you're just going to go down through that set that up in your hands to see how that looks and you should start to see these two cords cinching through each other and twining together uh, giving it its its snake name so that's what you should be looking at so you're just going to pull those tight grab our loop here and then just work both cords tighten that up nice and snug and there you have you see snake knot and you can see how one coils down through the other flip it over exactly the same in reverse, one coiling down through the other. Um, it's a very simple knot, and you can loop a few of these together. Uh, it's really nice for making little fobs for knives, lanyards, that kind of thing. I'm just going to show you one more time. So we have our two cords, like so. And you're going to take your left hand cord over the top of the right hand one, behind both, and take your original right hand cord up behind that one that you brought around, and then down through that loop and you end up with something that looks like that as you pull them together you should see them twining up forming a knot that looks tighten that up a little more see a knot that looks like that and that's your snake knot you can see here I've strung a couple of those together around this uh, metal hook um, on the end of this lanyard and um, they're not really a stop knot, but if you cinch them up nice and tight, they'll certainly stay where they're meant to be. And uh, yeah, you can put a few together. It starts making a really nice little pattern. So there you have it, guys. Snake knot, first of these videos. Hope you stick with the series. I'm going to make a playlist. Um, so please feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And uh, hopefully, I can build up a bit of a library of these basic techniques for you. Thanks for watching.